In our series on the new normal, the world from home, we want to bring the world to you since travel is limited this summer. This morning, we show you how an historic flour mill in southern England came out of retirement to help a community stuck indoors. When coronavirus lockdown started, baking bread at home became a hugely popular activity, leading to flour shortages. Ian Lee takes us inside the mill to see how it cranked up production. Good morning. Only in England can you find a thousand year old flour mill. Now around here, as the lockdown hit and businesses closed, the only thing that didn't grind to a halt was this place. Time flows slowly at Sternminster Newton Mill. Water from the River Stour has been driving machinery here from as far back as 1016. Heavy stones grinding wheat into flour, century after century. Demand wasn't what it used to be until now, says head miller Peter Loosemore. People are running out of flour, so you kind of saw your calling a bit. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Lockdown came along. We had already set up the mill ready for our usual um, season, which is just for occasional visitors, really. Within probably about 10 days to a fortnight, we realized that all the local shops were running out of flour. The mill, largely a tourist attraction in recent years, doubled the amount of flour it usually produces during an entire summer in just a few weeks. It uh, suddenly threw the clock right back to uh, medieval times almost, working the mill just as it used to uh, for the local population, really. Knights in shining armor were roaming these fields when this mill was founded. It survived wars, mad monarchs, and of course, plagues and pandemics. Add to that list the coronavirus lockdown. So how important is the mill today? Ask a local shopkeeper. Wow, blimey, it's made a massive difference. Store manager Adam Vincent says folks drive for hours around to get their hands on this white gold dust. We work with some really, really big um, wholesalers and it's been so hard to get hold of. It is virtually impossible. We've not seen demand for flour and yeast like this ever. This is different different level. The flour shortage also hit nearby baker Stephen Oxford. We nearly ran out of flour and this funny old mill uh, down the road that can only produce a few sacks a day at most stepped up, came in. Which means he could continue to produce the most ancient of comfort foods. What is it that makes people reach for bread in times of crises? That comfort of getting a product and something truly um, homemade and home baked. There is a, a saying is that, is that when times are hard, people eat white bread, and, and that's because it's a very traditional thing to do. So it's a comfort food. It's the original comfort food, isn't it? Original food made in the most original of ways. The flour production here really has been phenomenal, but speaking to the miller, he tells me once the pandemic is over, he's looking forward to things going back to a slower pace. For CBS This Morning, Ian Lee in Dorset, England. <laughs> it, it really is the original comfort food. You know, I think it's so funny that in this country we're running out of toilet paper. There they were running out of flour. What does that say about us? <laughs> I love all types of bread. Yeah, I agree. It is the Just original think comfort food. Think about that for a second. Yeah. Yeah. I also, in that, I love it when you actually hear Brits say blimey in a story. Yeah. I, I actually didn't yes, believe they say that, but too. apparently they do.